Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can play Doom on your Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. Now, I know that in a previous video I've said that this isn't possible, and um, I was correct that the version uh, of Doom I was showing there, uh, in that video, was only functional on the Casio FX CG10-20, and it doesn't didn't work on the CG50. However, since then I have found a version that does work on the CG50, which is, well, what I'm playing now. Um... So if you want to play Doom yourself, first you're going to need to know how to install add-ins onto this calculator. So I recommend you watch my video, my dedicated video on the topic. Once you've watched that and ignored the bit saying that Doom doesn't work, then you can come back here. And on the French forum, TI Planet, and I'll, I'll link to this in the description, you can download the CG Doom FXCG50, so Scraph 90 plus E, which is what this calculator is called in France. This is a French website. You can download this add-in file, install it like any other, and it works. You can play Doom. Now, you are going to need some uh, WAD files, or WAD files, and these are the files that contain the actual level data. Um, and there are, if you follow this link here, there are some specially uh, created and optimised um, WAD files for that work well on this calculator. They've all had their music removed, for example, uh, to reduce file size. Even so, they are still massive compared to a lot of the other files you have on on this calculator. I personally recommend installing Doom Shareware. This one is pretty small compared to the others at 3.24 megabytes. That is massive. This calculator only has 16 megabytes of storage, but it's about as good as you're going to get. Uh, so you can download this and uh, just uh, drag and drop this into your calculator's root folder, the same place you install add-in files. And once you've done that, you'll be able to boot it up on this calculator. Now, there is a small issue, which is that if you launch the game and then quit it, it, it doesn't like to work again. Fix that, just open any other add-in or any other app, such as the Run Matrix, and then it will work. Once you launch it, uh, you'll be brought to this this menu here, which provides some pre-launch options. For example, you can change your starting episode. Bear in mind the shareware only contains the first episode of the original Doom. You can change your starting map. And you can choose whether to skip the title screen, have the title screen but with no demos. Demos being um, the video that shows uh, pre-recorded gameplay. Or you can have the full title screen with demos. Uh, and there are some other options here. Uh, I believe here you can choose to record your gameplay to fill one of the demo slots on the title screen. You can also customise your controls, and I recommend at least looking over the controls before playing. The default, thumbs only mode, uses this for movement and looking around, um, alpha for shooting, and x squared for interacting with stuff, with these two for uh, panning around. However, you can also change the preset to full hands, or the CG Doom uh, 0.3. Full Hands uses a kind of WASAD style mode. You use these two for looking around. Daryl for shooting. These ones here for movements. This one here to interact. And uh, yeah. I personally find thumbs only easier. So that's what I'm going to be using. But your minds may vary. You may find, find others easier. There's some advanced options, but you don't really need to worry about these. And then, once you're happy, you can launch the game. After a brief loading period, you're in. Uh, and it, it runs like normal. I find it runs pretty well. If you enter a level and you're finding it a bit laggy, uh, or a bit, like, um slow, if you click the VARS key, that changes the frame skip. And it may make it more jumpy, may make it less jumpy. It basically skips strains rendering. So if the game's running slow, it might help. For example, here the game is running incredibly slow, but adding a frame skip of one um, makes everything load a lot faster because it's not trying to render every frame. But adding higher frame skips can make the game jumpy. So you may need to change that depending on the level. Um... Otherwise, I believe it's pretty much as normal. If you click comma, that provides you with a loads of health, loads of armor, uh, loads of ammo as well. That's uh, a bit of a cheat. And if you click 
this key here, the right hand arrow, that enables um, no clip. So that can be quite helpful if, if you like cheating, if you just want to get through a level. But it's of course much more satisfying to play without using either of these. Um, okay, I'm going to quit the game. Relaunch it. And try and beat the first level properly. Uh, I have got to level 4 legitimately without cheats on the default difficulty that it boots you into. But we'll see if I manage this now. One thing about Doom that's different to many newer shooters is that enemies' hitboxes extend down the entire screen. You can't look up and down in Doom by um, without changing configs and modding it and stuff. Um, searching us on the calculator. So, enemies' hitboxes are, uh, cover the whole vertical portion of the screen, which makes aiming much easier. You just don't have to worry about the vertical direction at all. Okay, got the armour, that will make things a bit easier going forwards, although my health could be better. Should be one here, and one here, and one more here. There's one more behind this thing, but I'm going to grab some of the armor bonuses, scattered around, pick up some additional ammo, and then make my way around. And there is an armor bonus here, yep. Okay, this is the slightly challenging portion now. Take out there. You can see quite far away there are those enemies that... F oh dear, I hit the wrong key. There are these enemies that throw the, the fireballs. They are a pain to deal with on the calculator. In fact, I genuinely might just try and ignore them. Oh, that didn't go so well. Okay, I remember there's the secret area here. with health very handy and my health is a bit low I'm not sure I'm gonna go for that armor <laughs> I can hit that thing oh dear okay Might as well pick up the additional health bonuses. I'm not planning to continue this save file, but might as well pick them up anyway. Ah, oh, more people. Oh, hello. Don't kill me, please. Ooh, that is close. Hopefully, I can defeat this guy. Yep. And... Make my way into the next level. There we go. So, what was that? 93% kills, 65% items, 33% secrets. Time, 3 minutes 24 with a power of 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, so you can click menu to bring up a menu. And then you can save. I'm going to save into slot 2 here and just call it, just call it B. Uh, and it will create that save file on the next exit. You can load saves. So if I load my main save, you can see that I'm on this level. And then when you're ready to quit, you can cl click. You can select quit game. Exit uh, again. If you've chosen to save, it will create the save file. And then you're back on your menu screen. Okay.
I hope you find this video useful and I hope you have fun playing Doom. Happy birthday Sam and thank you for watching.